That's Janice. Well, what does the Wells Fargo scandal mean for you and your money? You're like, well, I don't bank at Wells Fargo. Ah, au contraire, it could affect you. Stuart Welch joins us from the Welch Group to explain. Good to see you. Good morning, Mike. First of all, a lot of people who haven't followed the story about Wells Fargo, tell them exactly what happened. So they created the worst kind of culture. They have uh, sales quotas uh, and incentives for opening accounts for customers. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the quotas put a lot of threat on, on a lot of the employees. So they had 5,000 employees that got fired and those employees together open over a million accounts in customers' name without their knowledge, Ooh, boy. including, in addition to that, 500,000 credit cards okay. were open in their accounts. And so it created this ripple effect where, uh, you know, potentially damage your credit report and a lot of things. They, they paid a $185 million fine. So again, though, if you think, well, this won't happen at my bank, think again, right? It could. Yeah, so I think if you're Wells Fargo, you want to call the bank and ask them to do a search under your name for uh, any customer account that be in your name. Just make sure that they hadn't opened, you, you're not a victim of that. Okay. Uh, but if you're not at Wells Fargo, I don't think it's just a Wells Fargo thing. So yeah. I would go to your branch, ask your branch manager to do any of the employees have incentives or quotas for opening accounts. And if they do, you're, you need to ask that bank to, to do the same thing, run a, uh, a search for accounts in your name, make sure there are no fraudulent accounts. All right, but now, if, if let's say that's not going on. What are some safeguards you can put in place so it doesn't happen to you wherever you bank? So I think there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing is, is you have a right to know about compensation. Everybody's got a right to make a living, but you have a right to know how they're being paid. So mm -hmm. I say the first thing you do is you ask uh, if there's any doubt, how are you being paid and how much are you being paid? The second thing I think to protect yourself is you want to go ahead and get your free annual credit report. So you have Experian, you have TransUnion, and you have Equifax. Mm -hmm. They give you a free report once every 12 months. So order one of those now, wait four months and order one, wait four months and order one, and keep that track going. So you're getting kind of a look at your accounts, and you're looking for accounts that have been open to your name that, that you're, you're not aware of. Okay. And then I think the last one is, is consider a third-party monitoring service like a, a life lock. Mm -hmm. uh, each of the credit unions also have uh, their own service, but anytime an account's open in your name, they're going to send you a notice, uh, or if, even if they apply for an account in your name, they're going to send you a notice and, and give you a heads up. And it shouldn't be a red flag, too, if a salesperson with a bank calls you and says, hey. You know, yeah, listen, we had a case, uh, uh, the guy uh, bought a piece of, pro sold a piece of property, deposited 500000 in his account. The next, like, the next week, he gets a call from the salesperson at the bank saying, pitching an annuity. I'm going, how did he know? That's private information. So it looks like some of the banks are, are culling the account, client accounts or the customer accounts mm, to find money. Not good business. Real quickly, you got, a, you got a free Money Day? Free financial advice day, everybody. Okay. Mark their calendar. It is next Tuesday. It's going to be at Homewood Library. You can go okay. to the Homewood Library uh, website to get all, all the right. information. Free financial advice is going to be a big deal. Not free money, just, just free financial yeah. advice. All That's right, it. thank you very much. 740 now.